Welcome back to the third and final part of our story about Christopher Columbus in Espanol. Before we read the last part, there's just one more set of vocabulary that you need to write down. I'd like you to write these words two times each, just like all the rest. Tripulacion is crew. Zarpar is to set sail. Notice that that's a verb. It can be conjugated. Zarpo, zarpas, zarpa, zarpamos, zarpan in the present. And we will get to the preterite when we come back to in-person learning. Continente is continent. Falecio is he died. It's the past tense of the verb faler. Ruta is root. Descubrimiento. Descubrimiento, big word. Discovery. And volver is to return. I will try to send a slide of this also. And now our conclusion. Colon, right here. Y su tripulación, his crew, Zarparan, set sail el 12 de agosto y mil cien cuatro noventa y dos. El viaje, his trip, fue, there's our past tense again, was largo y difícil, long and difficult. I'm sure you guys figured that one out. Después de muchos días, los marineros empezaron a impacientarse. Ah, after many days, his sailors became very impatient. This is an infinitive form, impacient. Impacientar. Take off the say. It means to be impatient. When you have the say, it means with oneself. Querían volver. A casa. They wanted to return home. Colón les promitió volver a España si no encontraban tierra dentro de tres días. Columbus promised that if they didn't find land in three more days, they would go back to Spain. El 12 de octubre, which is why we have a day off of school in 1492, vieron Tierra. They found land. Llegaron a una isla pequeña, small island, y Colón la llamó San Salvador. He named it San Salvador. Colón no sabía que existía tierra entre los continentes de Europa y Asia. He did not know that there was land between Europe and Asia. Estaba in America. He was in America. Pero creía, there's one of our words, believe, estar en la India. He thought he was in India, but he really had landed in the Americas. Por eso llamo a la gente nativa indios. For that reason, he called the people, the native people, Indians. Cuando Colón regreso a España, La trataran como un hero. He was treated like a hero when he came back because they thought he had become very rich. Se la consideran los titlios de almirante de la mar oceano y gobernador de las Antillas. El rey de España estaba muy contento con Colón y le financió Mas expediciones. The king was so pleased with his discovery that he decided to finance many more of his expeditions. Colón atravesó, he agreed and made, el Oceano Atlántico tres veces más. He made three more trips across the Atlantic. Falicio el Veinte de Mayo, in 1506, convencido de que había encontrado una nueva ruta para llegar a Asia. 
He died thinking he had discovered a new route to Asia. Nunca supo la realidad de la grandicia de su descubrimiento. He didn't realize, realidad, the grandness of his discovery. Descubrió América del Norte, un continente nuevo. Well, I hope you enjoy Monday and have a good day off. All I'm going to ask you for today is to write your new vocabulary two times each. I sure hope that you've enjoyed our story of Christopher Columbus. Tomorrow is Friday and regularly our Fridays or Mondays are study days, but we have no school on Monday. So you have the day off. Friday, I'm going to reserve as a study day and I would like you to study all your new vocabulary from this week. There's three parts of it. And review your old vocabulary and your conjugation of ser in both the present and the preterite tense. When we return on Tuesday, we will spend next week reviewing all the things we've learned in the last three weeks, three weeks. And then we will have a test on all the things that we've done. I hope you have a great weekend and I look forward to seeing you on Tuesday. Mm -hmm.